There are two ways to enter the patch. Start by pressing the menu button. By default, the Show tab and the Info tab are selected. If they are not, simply touch Show and Info. Touch the Edit Patch Soft button to enter the patch screen. You can also touch the M Function Soft key and touch Edit Patch. The tabs on the top left allow you to choose the type of operation you will be performing. Patch allows you to add and patch fixtures in your show file. Cloning allows you to batch clone group, preset, and queue information between fixtures and fixture types. RDM, or Remote Device Management, allows you to view RDM devices and manage their settings. Note that the task buttons on the lower left change their functions based on the operation that you're using. Cloning and RDM will be covered in additional videos. Touch the Patch View tab to enter the patch operations. The buttons on the top right of the screen allow you to see your patched fixtures in different ways. The filter view allows you to sort through the different fixture types you have added to your show file. The number in the bottom right corner of the box indicates how many of each type are currently in the show file. Selecting all fixture types will display all fixtures currently in the show file in the main patch window. Selecting a single fixture type will display that type in the main patch window. The multi-select button allows you to view multiple fixture types at one time. Touch multi-select to turn it on, then touch the fixture types you'd like to see displayed. Touching a fixture type button a second time will remove it from the display group. Each fixture type can be assigned a color that will be used in the fixtures window. To assign a color, touch the fixture type you want to work with, then touch change. The color window opens to the system color page. These are predefined colors that you can apply by touching the color button you want. You can also touch the color wheel and scroll around to the color you would like. The User tab allows you to create your own colors for easy recall. Touch the User tab, then select a box you want to create and scroll around until you have the color you want. That color is now stored and can be accessed quickly. To remove a color assignment from a fixture, touch the box with the red X. Touching the X in the top right corner closes the window. The color assigned is displayed in the bottom left corner of the Fixture Type button. The Combo View allows you to see a list of your selected fixtures on the left side and the Universe Patch Layout on the right side. The Universe button on the lower left is used to choose which universe you are viewing. It also determines which universe your patch operations apply to. Use the plus and minus to change universes. The arrows above the Universe Layout allow you to page up and down in the layout. You can also see in the layout area where the available DMX ranges are and how many addresses are available in that range. The arrows next to the patched fixture list allow you to page through the list. The top and bottom buttons will take you to the beginning and end of the fixture list. The double arrow buttons will page up or down by whole pages and the single arrows allow you to scroll up or down one fixture at a time. The expand and contract buttons allow you to expand or contract all patched multi-part fixtures while the small button beside a multi-part fixture in the list allows you to expand or contract a single fixture. The buttons at the bottom of the window allow you to see all the fixtures you've selected in the fixture filter. The name displayed will change based on what you've selected in the filter. You can display only the patched or unpatched fixtures of the selected type by touching the buttons. Patched fixtures can be viewed in a number of ways. The ID column displays the fixtures by fixture number or ID. By touching the ID tab at the top, you can view your fixtures in ascending or descending order. The Name column displays the user assigned name if a fixture has been given one. Naming a fixture will be covered in the Adding and Patching Fixtures video. Touching the Name tab at the top displays the patched fixtures alphabetically in either ascending or descending order. The Type column displays the fixture type. Touching the tab at the top displays the patched fixtures alphabetically by type in either ascending or descending order. The Universe column displays the universe a fixture is currently patched to. Touching the Universe tab at the top displays patched fixtures numerically by universe in either ascending or descending order. The Address column displays the DMX address that a fixture is currently patched to. Touching the Address tab at the top displays the patch fixtures by DMX address in either ascending or descending order. The Invert column only displays information if a fixture has had its pan and tilt inverted or swapped. 
Inverting and swapping pan and tilt will be covered in an additional video. The list view tab shows only a list of the fixtures currently in your show file. All the tab options available in the combo view are available here as well. The universe view displays a graphic view of the patch layout. You can see in the layout area where the available DMX ranges are and how many addresses are available in that range.